Welcome, my beautiful, beautiful fire signs. This is Brenda, Brenda Terrell, and I'm here again today to bring you your monthly money and finance forecast for February 2021. I truly want to thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking, sharing, and especially subscribing. Always be sure to give me those thumbs up and click the option on the bell, A-L-L, and make it ring. That way you'll get recognized as a valid and active subscriber so that our little algorithms in the background and our little robots don't go and clean house because they periodically do that and we lose you guys. So please, please click those two buttons. Now, if you want a private reading with me, all that information is posted below this video because you know this is a general reading. Okay, let's see what we have here, my beautiful, beautiful fire signs. Your all over energy is the five of cups. We all know that the number fives are challenging cards. And that means that you could be thinking about the past. You could be, uh, you know, feeling as though you're crying over spilt milk. But what I want you to do, my beautiful, beautiful fire signs, is to look for the prize okay keep your eyes on the prize there's opportunities and offers and doors opening all the time but you need to be optimistic and look towards them so don't be getting lost in the past don't be looking back at the losses you may have experienced throughout a period of time leading up to now this is about you keeping your eyes on the prize and moving forward because as we progress through this reading things are going to change drastically so that you don't have to feel this way now I realize, you know, our personal lives and the way the world is right now or our economy and all of that can be determining factors that initiate and instigate and stir the cauldron up to make you feel these losses. For others, it could be a personal situation you've been dealing with. We're going to start off with our first card and you have been given the devil. The devil is a card of decisions. It's about making the right or choices that are going to be right for you. It's about getting rid of any negative energy that holds you back. And that could be the energy of a person, that could be the energy of co-workers, that could be the energy, uh, you know, that you're living around in your environment. But this is a card that says you're letting loose, you're letting go. You're no longer going to be held a prisoner or a puppet in that energy. You know what you need to do. It's the card of addictions and that means addictive behavior. So I see that you're going to be moving forward, making the right choices and decisions so that you can move forward in a brand new journey here in a healthy, spiritually, mentally and physical way beautiful coming in with that look who you got you got the king of pentacles this is the Midas touch king this is the king that says hey I can put my hands to anything and turn it to gold this is dealing with money this is dealing with money organizations this is seeing abundance coming into you because you are now going to step up and work hard towards this endeavor this goal and I do think you're going to see it if you've got offers opportunities things coming in that require you to read them carefully and sign documents and notarize things do it confidently because there's going to be opportunities and doors opening now for you when this king shows up wow lots of good positive energy for opportunities to look forward to and and usually it has to do with the financial part of your life you've got the clock and the clock says some of you might think that time's running out some of you might think that you have all the time in the world the clock refers to time of course things may be taking time I'm looking at this reading here the temperance and then the eight of wands so things could have been moving very very slowly for you up to this point whatever the circumstances that are determining that you may be out of your control but know that you're going to get moving now it also can refer to because there's a lot of birds on that clock and you could be getting help from somebody or it could be idle chatter coming in uh, but keep your ears open to what you're hearing okay um, I, they're telling me that you need to listen to messages coming into you now you're going to have that aha moment because here is the ace of swords and aces are the beginnings of seeing something happening things coming in exciting things that get us moving this you know this is the swords and it could be a legal situation you could be dealing with courts some of you but you're going to hear the truth come in and it's going to be like aha finally 
Okay, I see the light. I can move forward. I'm able now to take control of my life and go towards my goals. So you could be getting that moment where you realize now you have the freedom to go towards your financial gain here, your financial prosperity here, moving forward. I want you to keep determined. Okay, don't give up. This is the card that says, this is, the, I call this the wounded warrior, fighting a hard battle, but not relenting, not backing down, not waving the white flag. You're going to keep going. You're moving forward because you know there's going to be prosperity, new growth on this part of your journey. But it's been a hard journey for some of you, Aries. You've really had difficulties here in the past, whether it's in your personal life or your financial life. But I do think that by your determination and your due diligence and not giving up, you're going to be able to move forward towards your prosperity. <clears throat> be careful. Be careful of someone around you who doesn't tell the truth, the whole truth, so help them God. Uh, somebody could be wearing a mask around you, whether it's in your personal life or your business. If you're partnering up with anybody, if you're taking in somebody uh, or <clears throat> there's someone around you, make sure that, you know, you're, I do think you're going to get this aha moment. You're going to see the light in a situation. Uh, you're going to you're gonna know uh, whether they're, they're telling the truth or whether they're just showing you what they want to show you. So be careful. Everything that glitters isn't always gold. These offers and opportunities that are presenting themselves here, read between the lines very carefully. You've got the temperance, as I was saying, and that's the card of moderation. Things moving slow, uh, you know, maybe delays, but doing things with compromise, with, uh, you know, with communicating creatively while you're in this temperance zone. But it means that you're not going to jump in to the quicksand with both feet. Uh, or it means that things now are still in this pause, sort of lockdown, moving slow state. But while you're there, meditate, manifest, think about what you're going to do. You know, there's amazing things we can do when we're in a, in a place where we're not allowing all that outside world and noise to take over our mind. This is you being able now to concentrate fully on where you're going to go in this next part of your journey. Take advantage of this time. Don't get down about it. Don't worry about it. You've got this, the, the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups I always read as a gift. Uh, intuitively something's going to be brought into play here and it could be a water sign a cancer scorpio or a pisces that is in your life or and you're going to be receiving a gift and this person may be stepping in from the past they may be in the distance and they may be coming in to offer you consolation respect appreciation uh you know help support and even love uh this could be you also realizing it's time for you to sit down and maybe uh deal with your own children maybe it's time for you to communicate more with your kids or uh you know level with them they're telling me or tell them something they need to hear uh, you know dealing and, and experiencing children and communicating with children I think I'm, some of you are going to be seeing others you could be having a child come into your life or you could be adopting a child but I do think right now you need to realize that it's a time for you to tap into your inner child it's been a long time for some of you maybe you've not had a good laugh you've not been happy for a while but I think you're going to see something come in where you're going to be able to feel this joyfulness but it also also, you know, it's also reminiscing about your past, thinking about it, let it go. I want you to think only of the good thoughts here this week. Okay, look, think of the prize that you have still here coming into you. You've got the 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 whip and the broom, and often I read this as you know beating up on yourself, being your own worst enemy, uh, you know, hard on yourself, or you could have a deadline. You might be thinking, I've got to do something by a deadline. Okay, but often I read this that you're pushing yourself too hard. So let loose a little bit. Let up, my beautiful uh, Aries. Step up here and start to enjoy life a little bit more because I think you're going to be able to do that. I mean, you've got the King of Pentacles here. You're doing what's right for you. You see the truth in a situation. You know, now that you're going through, you know, the time is on your side. You're planning your moves and you're going to all of a sudden the delays are going to be over. Okay, this is the number eight. Number eight is also the number we manifest and we meditate on for money. This could be the eighth month, the eighth week, the eighth day of, you know, on the calendar, whatever it is, this could be something that's coming into play there. 
okay? Think of all those, those meanings of the number eight. But I do think you're going to be able to take action. There's something coming in. Uh, this card represents delays over, lots of information, lots of activity, getting down and getting busy. So I think a lot of you are going to be able to do that. The delays are over. Uh, it, with this card, you're going to be able to move forward towards your goals and your aspirations. And for some of you, it is your business. You know, it is working hard towards your finances here. Uh, you know, doing what's right for you now, making these changes so that your finances improve. And look what you've got. You've got judgment. There was a judgment call made and it worked out in your favor. You took a favorable assessment of what your past and what was going on in it and now you're moving forward. You're going forward and with progression, positive progression. You're able to go towards your goals and your aspirations now. Uh, for some of you, it could be in your personal life. For others, it could be in your financial life here. I do see you moving forward in a new direction, taking only those as part of your team uh, or your or your your um, soul pod or your circle of people with you, your family, whether they're your family at work or your family at home. But you, this is rebirth. This is moving on. Okay, this is you moving on and realizing. Wow. For others, you know, for the and and I do see. It's going to be final. It's going to be secure. It's going to be a bond. It's going to be a, a um, you know um, a, a legal and binding uh, contract between two people. Maybe you're taking a partner in on business with you, and maybe your partner is going to be the love of your life. But I do see that you're going to be moving forward here in a positive, beautiful, solid, solid, beautiful marriage of minds getting together. Wow beautiful reading so you know what you know it's basically you know things are going slowly right now but you're going to see as you start moving through because each one of these represents a week in February first second third and fourth week of February the end of February beginning so you're, you're going to see things progressing and moving forward here all right so you know making those changes the first of the week because you want your goal to be uh, secure here. You want your finances to be secure. You're waiting for things to happen and you do have to be careful here. You're still pushing through a difficult uh, situation here, but you do see the light and you are able to move forward in this new direction. Things still are moving slow in the third week, but don't be so hard on yourself because at the end of the month, everything opens up for you to move forward fantastic stay positive my beautiful beautiful fire signs this is your reading i wish you a great remainder to today and a beautiful optimistic month of february to look forward to and remember the universe and the divine your higher power want you to succeed and find your happiness and peace so surrender to it and move forward towards your goals and happiness blessings my beautiful souls and know that i always and only stand in this circle of love and light for you and please play safe stay safe and be safe and i'll see you soon